Dale Birdsong, and welcome back to Encouragement for the Times. There you go. How many of you have seen my blog or read my blog said, let go, let God, let it be? Well, I wrote that a couple weeks ago. How many of you have let God, let go, let it be? Well, I'm here to tell you I've struggled with that. It is difficult to let it be. Now, I can let it go. I can even let God for a little while, but to let it be? Ooh, child, I don't know about y'all, but that's been difficult. I struggled with that this week again, and I'm just being real. But I want to give praise report to God. I believe that I have finally let it be. And for those of you who are saying, what is she talking about? Think about it. How many of you have had situations in your lives that have caused you so much turmoil, but you loved it so much, or you just didn't want to let it go, so you kept trying to hold on to it. And you kept telling God, Lord, just take it, take it, take it. I gotta let it go. Lord, just take it, I'm gonna let it go, I'm gonna let it go. And the Lord's just sitting there going, okay. Well, when you finally decide to let it go, I'll take it. And so one day you say, Lord, I I'm gonna let it go. I I'm gonna let you work it out, I'm just gonna let it go. So you said, okay, God, here you go. And you thought you had let it go. Then a week later, guess what? You picked it up again. You know why? Because you didn't let it be. <laughs> you got to let it be if you want God to work it out. Now, I recently had a situation in my life where, you know, I really want it to be. <laughs> Boy, do I want it to be. But as I prayed about it, God said to me, be still. And I said, I'm trying. I hear you, Daddy. I'm going to be still. And I was into a little bit here, into here, saying, God, you got it. I'm giving it to you. I just kept pulling it back. So, because I wasn't letting it be. Then finally, one day, I began to realize I know who I am in Christ. And when you begin to recognize who God has called you to be, and you know who God has called you to be in Him, God says, Greater is He that's in you than He that is in the world. And when you know who you are in Christ, you don't have to settle for less than the best. So if it's a person that it may be, like mine in particular is a person, if it's a person that doesn't appreciate you or doesn't realize what they have in you, first of all, you have to know that God knows who you are. And because God knows who you are, you have to be content in who God has called you to be. And once you know that, then you don't have to worry about the other person because maybe the other person don't know who they are. And how in the world can they be anything for you if they don't know who they are? Right? How can they be what you need if they don't know what they are or what they want? So you better off letting that person be. Now if it's a job, then it's the same thing. You know, unfortunately a lot of things are happening with jobs in this economy right here. Now I know that's a touchy subject. But I also know that God doesn't close one door without opening another one. I'm a living witness to that. So in all things, what we have to learn is that God does know what's best for our lives. And if we trust him, let his will be done, not our own. Now that's a lot of times I think, oh, I want this so bad, I want this so bad. But then when God starts showing, start showing me, hey, that ain't right for you right now. And I start thinking about it. And I start saying, you know what, God? All right, in my past, I picked up things that I shouldn't have picked up. And I don't want to go through none of that stuff no more. So, Lord, you take it. I'm going to let it be. So be proud of me this week, folks. Because guess what? I finally let it be. Yes, I did. Now, I want to close with this poem titled, Don't Settle for Less. And that's for, all, for men and women both out there. Don't settle for less than what God has for you. I don't have to settle for less because God wants to give me his best. In God's house, there ain't no shortage. He will abundantly supply. There is no lack. So I don't have to go back. I don't have to go through the garbage cans searching for a man. Mm -mm. Or break the covenant rule. Taking another woman's husband has my tool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When I get lonely, I'm never alone. I have a wonderful God who would never leave me nor forsake me. That's why I stay on my knees praying to God above to send me my true love. Nothing is impossible for God. I would never have to rob the garbage cans for yesterday's leftovers. I don't have to stand in heartbreak sea 
a waddle in disappointment waters because I didn't give my body and soul for a story that can never be told. If I wait on God with perseverance, I will become the woman God has ordained me to be. And he will send me a man he has prepared for me. A man that has a heart after him, who is gentle to the touch and knows how to love me because he loved God first. So you see, we don't have to settle for less. In time, if we wait, God will give us his best. So for all you men and women out there who think you've got to settle, I'm here to tell you, I don't care how old you are or how young you are. Trust God. Let him develop you and take you to where you need to go in him. Develop a relationship with him. Before you start searching for the relationships of the world, search for a relationship with Christ. And as you begin to believe, but build that relationship with Christ, he'll bring you that person. And believe me, it will be the best. Because God is not going to give you anything less. Because you're his child. And he wants nothing less than the best for his child. Think about what you want for your children. Do you want anything less than the best for them? Of course not. Well, God doesn't want anything less than the best for us. Now, the key is we have to wait. And that can be hard sometimes. That's why, that's why, that's why you got to let it be. I'm Dale Birdsong, signing off from Encouragement for the Times with Hello.